yellow truck Bet they both gon' clear the scene Watch me do 100 miles per hour When the light turn green You know you can't ride with us If you can't show the bubble bee Once you hit a revving on the edge And you know what that means Red car, yellow truck Bet they both gon' clear the scene Watch me do 100 miles per hour When the light turn green You know you can't ride with us If you can't show the bubble bee Once you hit a revving on the edge And you know what that means What's up, folks? So, as promised, like I was saying, man, it's been <laughs> three months. A little over three months. So, my little rig up. Because I really would like to put some heat in her. Um, within, like, I don't want to misquote, but I believe like in the next week or two, this would be the last or, or the last two weeks of this thing to actually even be outside because I'm starting to get a little bit of, look at that, some surface rust. Um, but there's the rig up for now. Just got a bucket on the ground. Got the fuel pump connected. Because the fuel pump was okay. At least I believe it was. I don't know. It should be. I don't, it doesn't appear to be broke. If it stopped working, it's because it's something internal. You know what I mean? So, we're going to see. And the exhaust is blowing out this way towards me. As y'all know, the fuel lines and everything is on the driver's side. So I got everything coming out the passenger side. Yep. This was that spare that I was racing with and had never taken out. And that doesn't hold air. Not tripping. I put air in it once. I need to move it or something like that, but yeah that's that um the fuel so yeah y'all y'all get ready to see it start for the first time right along with me all right This battery is at 15. <clears throat> you hear me? Huh? Your battery is at 15%. I know. It's okay. still recording. Yep. All right. Don't need much. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here. We got open header on one side, yeah. To get that pipe was on the ground on, on the driver, passenger, open header, passenger. Okay, I'll right. I see you right now. I see you. Petey, 
Pretty. Okay, I see. Um, Nova. I love you. I know. I see Nova. You. Yeah, I know. I love you. Okay. Nova, come. Nova, come. Nova, come. Nova, come. Oh, no, sit. You're in, um, I'm watching this bucket, okay? Okay. You go ahead and turn your key. I want, I want... Nova, sit. Doggy, quiet. That's it? Is that it? You're ready to start? Yep. It didn't even, it didn't even, it didn't even suck in there. Try. <laughs> Oh, you think? No. I don't know. Let me ask you a question. But prior to the accident, you got the key back off? Yep. Prior to the accident, when you would turn the key in the oil position, would you always hear your pump go, Wah. You can hear it when it come on. So, so go ahead and turn the key all the way back on again. Your pump ain't, pump ain't even coming on. It didn't even, it didn't even, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, like it should prime. Right, it should do something. What's your fuel gauge read? Turn the, turn the, uh, thing. It's full. Well, no, I mean, because that, that means it's read, it means it's pulling there. <clears throat> hey, when we, uh, I couldn't see, but is there enough gas in that, um, bucket where it's totally submerged? Yep. So it's literally at the, the top of that, uh, Okay, so those open ports on the top of the fuel pump that's down in there, they're submerged too, correct? Yep. Interesting. And you got, you didn't take, you haven't took nothing else off it. Uh-uh. Mopar fam, got some stuff we're trying to throw together today still no luck on getting that day going uh yellow jacket started up but uh got something in the works uh, what i did was i got one of those cheap fuel pumps oh, my dogs got one of them cheap fuel pumps and we just ran a line dun, 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 dun. that line is going directly into my fuel rail as you see it runs down to a little filter we're gonna put the fuel pump and then a freaking uh we got a bucket and run gas to it so i'll show y'all what's up we're gonna do a quick fire up just a couple screwdrivers just work how do you uh how do you pull them bits out down bottom just uh screw the lid off very tip, yep. Yep. Slick, man. Put some heat in here today. Yes, sir. Slick. Nice day to be doing it. I'm gonna stop. Uh, ain't treating me so wrong. Yep. We're gonna, fire, we're gonna put a little fire to her uh, at least every other day or once a week. Yep. Minimal. Get this front cut out. Yes, sir. I see right where to cut them out. You gotta get that sway bar off. Yep. So simple. Hey, we pop the sway bar. We pop the sway bar off. Uh huh. Pull it, pull me out. And then we get our marks up in here. I got a laser level. Put it on a laser level. So that way we can get our mark dead center. You get know what I'm saying? And uh -huh. then come across it with a straight edge. And that's how you'll find your. You don't wanna pull measurement off the front of this. Because if this was impacted, this could possibly be in Absolutely. a quarter inch, three quarter, you never know. Yeah. So we pull a laser level so that we can yeah, cut it. it like, because let me tell you, it's in, I can tell you how far it's in. Some, it's, of, it's some of this stuff in the factory can be very tricky on you. Like if you think that this hole is exact with this hole, oh, no. you can be wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. And a lot of people, they go off with stuff like that. <laughs> Once we take that sway bar off, 
man. Tony, you pop the sway bar, man. We could cut. I mean, we could just cut it. We could zip wheel it. That's nothing. You gotta pull all, pull your, pull your core support out. So it ain't all together. It makes it easier. Simple. The front two, two. Bring two, two bars out off a plate, and then we just put a halo hoop. Use a halo hoop that'll hold your bumper, your grill mounts onto the hood. Right. So all that will come down, and all you're gonna need is the halo hoop just to hold the top of the part of the bumper. You could actually even put fog lights in the back on the, you know what I'm saying, right off the bracket. Because you had fog lights on the bumper. Yeah. That'd be sweet, dude. That's gonna be sweet. You know how light this front end looks? Man, yeah. I'm gonna have to put some weight on it. Yep. I'm telling you, if you start hitting it with more than a 200, 250 shot, you probably have to put some weight on the front of it. Okay. Especially with the slick. That's okay. Oh, it's gonna be with the slick. That's what I don't, don't have no other wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's I don't have no wheels. I got three wheels. So it's gonna be slick on the back. <laughs> Definitely gonna make a you know, like we got the mid drag pack. Some skinnies up. Oh, not to mention it's gonna be skinnies up. Yes. Triple check. Yep. Check that now. Alright, y'all, that's what we got. She good. That's what we did. There's the filter. There's the pump from good old Amazon. You see, we just worked up, just figured something up. It'll work. Let's go. <laughs> it, it just it ripped, it ripped it like that. <laughs> In the midst of everything, I got a lesson for y'all. Don't use these little filters on a high pressure uh, fuel line because it'll just blow the lid right off. I tried to get it on camera for you guys, but unfortunately it didn't work but i almost got covered in fuel <laughs> amazon oh no nah. no nah, that was auto zone <laughs> that was auto zone not even amazon but it was the amazon fuel pump <laughs> that actually had a good amount of pressure flowing yeah, from yeah. it i'll say that <laughs> i want i'll give 100 percent on that pump i buy that pump any day for what 20? and i show y'all just less than 25 bucks that's it let's go all right You might even have some fuel already up there. Know what I mean? Alright y'all, so y'all seen I'm ecstatic. I know the yellow jacket still runs. And um, when we first got the Honda, the guy told us he couldn't figure out where the coolant was coming from. I think I remember telling y'all that. Well, I fired it up the other day after putting coolant in it. And I don't know if y'all can see that coolant directly. Okay. It's not gonna be zone, but right there, y'all see that little bit of green? Come to find out, right on this line here, there's a hairline uh, tear. So I'm gonna replace this line, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one. You see this kink in it? This is just the one that goes, not the one that goes to the throttle body, because it goes down and below. So once we do that, man, this thing is the Honda is squared away. And I feel like the next thing I need to do is that same um, little rig up that we did 
for yellow jacket just pop that same thing off and put it on the chevy on the impala and uh we should be good man we'll go from there i took the battery out of the beast i call this truck beast mode y'all know this is my 99 try to keep all my stuff clean under the hood as much as possible i haven't been out here to blow leaves or nothing yet but i'm just happy to know that yellow jacket is good to go all right y'all oh 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 hear me out listen i need y'all to go if y'all checking me out today if it's still between the uh, 25th and the 28th of November, go check out tentkits.com because right now they're still doing their Black Friday and it's carrying all the way through Monday since it's Cyber Monday, right? So check it out, man. It's 50% off. So, like, I mean, even if you just get you some tent and you're not using it right away, I mean, who knows? You might need to redo the tent on your car that you currently have. It could be turning purple or blue or something like that it's some good stuff so check it out y'all all right thanks walk with me hey, hold on one more thing nah i catch y'all on the next video i'll let y'all know a little bit more i want to show y'all as i'm telling you so i get to that on the next video otherwise continue to walk with me peace Yellow truck, bet they both gon' click